um, let's see how many we own a thousand about a thousand doors. Of course, you don't say doors in a store in the storage investing world. You go by square footage. I think we have like ninety thousand square feet. If you want to be a storage nerd and you want to talk storage investing, you would say I got ninety thousand square feet. Okay um so and uh you know we buy we focus on storage facilities that are uh, first time storage facilities right we focus on smaller facilities and um we buy anywhere from like 50 to 150 units right now this is a great way to get started in the self-storage investing world it's just like a lot of people they don't have like millions of bagillions does anybody here have millions and millions of dollars please let me know in the chat if you have millions and millions of dollars to buy self-storage or if you know how to find millions and millions of dollars right when you first get started in self-storage investing you're just like a regular bloke like me right and all you want to do is you want to um get your foot in the door right you just want to get your foot in the door so you buy 50 to 150 units something like this and 50 to 150 units could be anywhere from a couple hundred thousand to like a million dollars right so for instance one of my students in texas he lives in dallas he bought his first facility uh in this like in the middle of texas and he bought 77 units for a million dollars it's um it's a brand new facility brand new beautiful beautiful facility it's worth it's going to be worth about 1.8 million dollars when it gets leased up the owner of that facility i mean sorry the previous owner of that facility was a builder that's what he does is he was a construction person and um he built like he did all the pre-development and he built the facility and then once he finished building it he sold it right so that's one of the ways that you can get started in self-storage investing if you're a builder on here i saw warren is here uh let's see warren are you here yeah i saw warren's here i think warren you're a builder remind me if you're a builder somebody's a builder on here that comes and hangs out a lot but i can't remember which one it is but um and uh, so that's what he did is he bought the facility. My student bought the facility as soon as it was built. When he bought it, it had only a few people in it. So his job is to lease it up. Once he leases it up, it gets it to 90%. He's going to sell it. That's flipping storage, right? That's like flipping a self storage. That's kind of what we do as well, too. We buy stuff that are, we buy facilities that are mismanaged facilities. Right, and then we we get all the bad tenants out. We get good tenants in. We start creating this income, and then we'll most likely sell them. The ones that we're going to hold on to are the ones that are. Um, uh, oh, could uh, Irving is a Irving is a contractor? Is this something that you could do, Irving? Totally. And uh, one of one of the. Um, like one of the things that we do is we'll buy mismanaged facilities that are like, you know, 25 to 50% full. And then we will um, get all the bad tenants out and then we'll get all good tenants in. We'll make sure that the, the they're charged at the market value, right? What everybody else is charging and we'll get the highest possible income that we possibly can. We'll get them to 90% or more full and then we can sell those. The only ones that we're gonna keep are the ones that uh, are not held by held by private loans, right? So we do fund all of our deals by private loans, except for the ones that we don't. And the ones that we don't are the ones that we're going to hold on to. And those are the ones that are like 10 to 20 years, right? Uh, typically on a commercial loan, you're going to get like 10 to 20 years on a loan, okay? You don't get like 30-year loans. Most of them is like 20, 10 to 20 years on a commercial loan. Those are the ones that we'll hold on to. We'll just have buy and hold. And then all the ones that we use private money for, the mismanaged facilities, we'll just, we'll flip those and we'll sell those. And then what we do, or what we'll do is we'll either 1031 exchange those into a bigger facility or we'll own or finance them. And we'll be the bank, we'll become the bank, and then we'll sell them to somebody else. And, um, and then they can just pay us on a monthly basis and they can own that in 10 to 20 years, right? So we, you know, that's kind of how we do that. Let me know if that makes any sense to anybody at all, or if you're lost on that, okay? But again, my, uh, I'm Stacy Rossetti for everybody that's new, that this is your first time, I appreciate you coming to hang out. And um, I've been teaching people how to invest in real estate for um, almost 10 years now. And then every single type of transaction in the real estate industry, except for 
large multifamily deals. I have not done, but pretty much everything else you have ever heard of creative bill structuring or wholesaling or rehabbing, or, um, you know, I've done rental properties. I've done storage investing. I've done commercial. I've even owned commercial buildings. I've done it all. Just selling. I've done it all. But guess what? After doing it all, we've landed on storage. And um, storage is the best kept secret in, in the industry. I don't know why people mo don't do it. And honestly, the truth is, is people don't do it. I don't understand why. I really don't understand why. It's not difficult when you learn how to invest in self storage. This is not difficult. In fact, I'm right now, y'all can't see my room because I'm in my RV right now. We're in our RV. So we just bought an RV. We're on, our, we bought it in July. We're on our first trip. We're in Wisconsin right now. And uh, we're gearing up to travel uh, for the next couple of years and managing our storage facilities. And in fact, we are going to be buying another 10 to 20 more storage facilities in the next three to five years as well, too. And then retiring. Uh, we'll be flipping most of those and holding on to some of them. Um, the ones that we're going to hold on to will be the bigger ones. And we'll, you know, so we're getting our, we got our foot into the door. So, for, you know, four or five years ago, we got our foot into the door. We bought small 50 units and then we built up. And now typically we're buying 150 to two year, 200 units, right? So we bought, so there is nothing wrong with buying smaller storage facilities at all. 